Ted's fireman had got free tickets to a magic show after Ted and his team of fire engines put out a fire at a magic show. The fireman had told Ted and Ronnie that they could take the evening off and attend the magic show. I have never been to a magic show, says Ronnie. Ted says, me too. Maybe we should ask Fred to come along. I shall speak to the fireman about it. It is finally evening. Ted and Ronnie are very excited. Fred joins them at the venue. They wait impatiently for the curtains to be drawn. Ronnie keeps moving around. Ronnie, says Ted, stop! What are you doing? Ronnie looks around and says, Oh, I'm super excited! I can't wait in one place! When are they going to start? Ted says, Ronnie, please be patient, will you? Moments later, A magician appears on stage. He says, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my dear fire engines. I have many tricks lined up for you this evening. You are going to love the show, I promise. Suddenly, a rabbit appears from nowhere and waits patiently for instructions. The magician says, You might have seen a rabbit disappear into a hat. But let me tell you this, that is an old trick. This rabbit here, as you can see, is too big to fit into this hat. He is going to do a somersault into this cap and then disappear. Abracadabra, says the magician, and his stool magically appears. The rabbit then does a somersault and lands on the stool. The magician once again says, Abracadabra. The rabbit jumps straight into the cap and disappears. The fire engines are thrilled. A little girl walks in. The magician asks her to stand on the stool. He then says, As you can see, this stool is not hollow. The girl is able to stand on it. And then he looks at the girl and says, Thank you. You may get off now. The girl jumps off the stool. And then the magician once again says, Abracadabra! And a smiley magically appears on one of her hands. He then tells the girl, why didn't you try throwing that smiley into the stool? <laughs> Everyone loves looking at Smiley sitting on Ronnie's head. Ronnie looks puzzled. That's called magic, buddy, says Ted, laughing. <laughs> All right, now for the final trick of the show. Hey, you, potato face fire engine, what do they call you? Ted looks surprised. He says, I am Ted. All right, come on up here, will you? Ted says, who? Me? No 
thanks, I'm fine here. Fred says, oh, come on, Ted. Nothing's going to happen. Just go. Ted says, are you crazy? That rabbit disappeared, didn't you see? I don't want to disappear. But the whole crowd started chanting Ted's name. We want Ted. We want Ted. Now Ted did not have a choice. He appears on stage looking absolutely terrified. Abracadabra, says the magician, and a glass box appears on stage. The magician then announces, Ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my dear fire engines, presenting our own mini dead. The crowd stands up and claps for the magician. Ted is terrified inside the box. He is trying to scream. Help me! Help me! I want to get out of this box! But no one hears him. After a while, Ted hears his name being called out. Bravo, Ted! Bravo, Ted! screams the crowd. Ted then realizes that he had actually become a hero. He is thrilled. The magician then waves his wand and brings Ted back to his original size. Ted looks around with a lot of pride. That night, back at the fire station, Fred says to Ted, Bravo, Ted! That was mightily brave. Ronnie says, Oh, I say, that was really, really brave, Ted. How did you manage to do it? Ted says, I have no idea, guys, but it was a lot of fun. 